when it, it, it held in, him in back. this situation. You it held him I'm back saying? a lot because we didn't hear a lot from him. Even after after Pac's death, we didn't hear. You didn't hear no more. He just kind of fell back when it was at the. He was at a pinnacle no, in his was. career. What? And, and I he, ain't mad at you. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see me. Wow. I, I just interviewed uh, Reggie Wright, and he was saying he tried to convince Suge that you don't have to do all these antics anymore because you already got the wheel rolling, and people already fear you, so you don't mm -hmm. have to do all this stuff. I have to do all So that. he was saying, because they was friends since the grade school, mm -hmm. he was saying if you would just just not even do anything and just your your reputation holds its own you don't have to be a part of it no more but she just kept being sure kept being sure and that the maloofs is you know when they was the owners that was their man and he wasn't giving them the whole truth and most people it ain't humans emotionally we make decisions not logically it's logical to tell the whole truth even if it may diminish you a little bit in the story mm -hmm. but to be the victim or the victor it's better than being the villain yeah for humans hmm. so we there right here in the palms right there in the palm and i go to the vip and a, a, after i get into it with suge in the bathroom we talking shit and he's like man give me your number i'm like same number i've been having bro mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah it's like me the yeah, same, the number, same, same number i've been having bro i got niggas in the penitentiary just doing life that's right niggas are doing 90 years niggas on death row i got a answer the phone because they got children and now grandkids outside that's you real feel me so i go to the vip and the flailing stuff security comes like yeah we want you to i'm like man y'all ain't having me move nowhere so y'all like that if y'all like that then do something mm -hmm. <laughs> now real talk let's go you know do something so then they go get another security couple security guys and get one of the maloofs he's like well mr knight is our Yes, I was like, I'm a guest too. I'm here with Kanye. I'm the, you know, I'm one of the investors. I'm a writer. I'm a producer with dude. And he's the main act. So he can come in here if he want to. That's real. He could be in this place if he want to. But further seeing to me that he done told on me. Damn. You in the bathroom just told me you ain't say nothing. I went to jail on accident. I that guess. Part. And now here you go with it. on stone, man. On my mama, I feel like. You know, and they was bullying Danny Boy. That's how I first got into it. Okay, see. okay. They was bullying Danny Boy. Definitely. And he out of Chicago. He out of Chicago. He from the West Side. So I got a couple of hard hitters I know from the West Side, and we came out here to holler at these motherfuckers. Like, you can't just treat a person like you want to treat them, because Pac was my man. Pac was like, yo, they be definitely out here bullying Danny Boy. I'm like, I'm on my way, so home. Because I don't like that, because I was bullied by my mama. That's real. And, and aunties and everybody, they don't fuck with me. You know, my, my cousin who's one of my favorite cousins, she told me a couple years ago, she said, yeah, your grandmother treated you good, you were spoiled. That's when I was four years old. I'm like, mm. the whole family holding the grudge because my grandmother treated me special. That's what y'all mad at? Man, fuck everybody. So you saying, he, what did you, how did you guys approach that situation with them bullying Danny? How did you get your point across? <laughs> Went to death row. Okay. Mike. It's not sanctified it, and hollow and hollow grounded to me. You know, if it need if it need to breathe and it can bleed, it can cease to exist. Yeah. So none of that superhero shit for me, G. I agree. None of that shit. No, I agree. So y'all gonna stop? You went straight. No, some road. people ain't going. It right just don't. On. It's a lot of dudes like that. That's yeah. why I always told people like. <laughs> It's different where I come from. Like you're not gonna just do anybody any kind of way, and anybody can do you. Mm -hmm. It's real. Like I, mm -hmm. I, I told you about this, and you might not know where I'm coming from, but like somebody was telling me about Fifty did this, and it was, it was Mike Cherry, and I was like, man, where I'm from, it don't matter how much money you got, you're not gonna disrespect like mm -hmm. that. You not, you could anybody, a bomb can kill you, man. Mm -hmm. Anybody can get you. So you just you gotta move in a way to where you respect people. Yeah. And I think a lot of time. Different cities live by different codes. And sometimes people don't know they're being disrespectful. Mm. They can't, they, they so fucked up in the brain, the brain so scarred from childhood or whatever, they don't know when they disrespect. They're thinking like, okay, I'm, a, I, I, I'm done disrespecting you. You should forgive me and let me back in your circle. Yeah. I forgive you because I know where you come from. Yeah. You come from where I come from. But I'm not letting you back in my circle because you don't haven't learned your lesson on how to conduct yourself. Wow. You haven't learned. And it's going to, 
cause us to clash. Let me ask you something. To, uh, how much did this damage Danny Boy's career? When it, 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 it held him in back. this situation, you it held him back saying? a lot because we didn't hear a lot from him. Even after after Pac's death, we didn't hear. You didn't hear no more. He just kind of fell back when it was at the. He was at a pinnacle no, in his was. career. What? And, and I he, ain't mad at you. Yeah, it fell off. It, yeah. I, yeah, he was at a pinnacle. And it, it should have been something coming behind that. Yes, but it, it should didn't, have been. It did nothing. Come, it just he, he wasn't allowed to flourish because you under this much stress, right, in the in your environment where you're supposed to be under the least stress. Not that you got to be comfortable to create. You shouldn't be comfortable anyway, but the stress of danger and shit like that, it's very difficult to... To, for a kid like him and you know they, they knew a little something about his sexuality that we didn't know in Chicago you know what mm. I'm saying correct so they used that against him they take his little bins and go go to the mall and take his little card and eat up his little budget money and shit and the other motherfuckers come in on his studio time and shit like that and I was like man that's gonna stop G yeah yeah that shit gonna stop that's, that, that's finna stop and if you don't like it do something no, and, and the thing, and, and like I say, you had already been through a lot, and, and yeah. it touched you in a different way. Touched me in a different Cause, way. Because of the way you, you, would come, you come up with the way your mom treats exactly. you. Exactly. So I, I, understand I definitely that. get it. I understand it. That's why I was able to be so well in, at 18 years old when I went to the Army. I was like, oh, my mama did this to me every day. This don't phase me. It don't, work, it don't hurt, dude. Exactly. It don't, even, it don't it work. Don't, I don't feel nothing. These other motherfuckers crying and leaving and going home, and I'm sitting here like, mm. This, 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 a, this is a slow Sunday. Park. This yeah. is a slow Sunday for me. A slow Sunday. No, no, that's real. I yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-Heat, a reason you see.